I saw Red Velvet in concert. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Simply Slacia. Today is the I went to see Red Velvet follow-up video, full concert experience video. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> um, I went and saw Red Velvet in Chicago and um, I already did a ticket making video so I'll link to that. Um, if any of you have been watching and you've been here, you know I was stressed that day. <laughs> um, but since then, this entire time I've just been anticipating the concert more and more and now I finally went. I had an amazing time, it was so awesome. Um, but first I'm just going to cut to all the videos kind of leading up to the concert and being at the concert and then I'll talk about my experience after. So let's go! Scared my cats. Hey, it's Red Velvet Day! It's Red Velvet Day! Um, it's Red Velvet Day. It's Red Velvet Day. It's Red Velvet Day. Um, I'm about to do my hair. I have a couple of things to do today. But other than that, I am just counting down the time to Red Velvet. Like, no work, nothing. I am just ready to go. I am so excited. I woke up and the first thing I said was, it's Red Velvet Day. So that is where I'm at right now. Gonna get ready, get some things out of the way, and get myself together. So let's go. Hey, what up? I'm back. Hey, I'm back. Got some pool noodles in my hair. Um, just sitting, waiting, counting the time down some more. Um, I am so much more relaxed about this concert than I was about BTS because, um, for this one I'm just P5, so I, there's just, like so much less to stress about. Mine's more like, okay, how early do I want to get there, stuff like that. Um. It seems alright outside so far. I still have to look up weather for later. Um, get my ticket and stuff like that. I haven't even picked out my outfit yet. And I know that I need to get going on that. And just get it out of the way. But right now I'm just about to dive into some of the FAQ. Make sure I don't... Make sure I'm ready to like have everything. Um, I'm not going to take like a bag or anything. Um, still trying to figure out am I going to stop by and grab cash so I can buy the red velvet um, light stick there and stuff like that so I'm just kind of chilling wasting time um, I still got a couple hours before these can come out and we'll see how it looks try to figure out an outfit I don't know I'm not stressing I am just living my life today so we will see. I'm here, Mike. I am at the Red Velvet concert right now, and you can see. Welcome back. <laughs> I saw Red Velvet in concert. Um, I loved every second of it. It was so fun. Um, despite me, like, you know, when I went through the ticket process, 
I refresh the page like you're not supposed to and a million other things because right when I like walked into like not walked into right when I loaded the site and it refreshed and set up it was like zero tickets so you can see my face in the ticket buying video of I just got here how did this happen um <laughs> but so I got the tickets I was in the last row so what I mean when I say like last row I wasn't actually in the very last row because well I was so like in terms of the seats of the venue I was in the last seats that are actual seats that are in the venue um, and then there's a tiny curtain and you step up and it's kind of like that big walkway behind you um, so they had put out two rows of regular just red seating chairs um, sitting chairs and um, what I did is I got there I when I got there I timed it to be pretty much on time I didn't really want to stand outside it's cold it's winter it's the windy city Chicago I'm not I don't want to stand outside very long um, and it's seating it's assigned it's not like going through like general admission etc so everybody was really friendly all the rebel loves had a great time um, I said a few things to the people in front of me and people behind me, you know, we took pictures for each other in front of the Chicago sign, the Chicago theater sign. And, um, I don't know, we just were generally excited to be there and happy to, um, go in. And they moved the line along quickly, security was fast, um, I believe the Chicago theater's rules were like no bags and stuff, so you go through pretty quick because you don't have a lot of things on you. Um, so they take your items, you walk through security, they pat you down, check you over, give you stuff back, and you just go in. Um, this is my first time at the Chicago Theater. I've never been. Um, I actually don't go to the city that that often. Um, but it's beautiful. Like, the Chicago Theater is really pretty um, once you get on the inside. Um, it's really, it's kind of dark inside. So I remember walking in and... They had like coat check and stuff like that. And then there's stairs right away so you can start going up. Um, merch line was over that's on that side. So I was, when I first walked into the Red Velvet concert, I wanted to get merch. I, I wanted to get the, um, the uh, fan light because I didn't buy it ahead of time or anything. But listen. <laughs> The merch line was so long. It was huge. Like, because <laughs> we're all going in at the same time. It's not like they've had people, like, going through merch line the entire time. Which might have been smarter. Um, it would have been nicer, at least. Um, <clears throat> is just... It was... So, merch line starts here. And the merch line ended all the way up in the balcony the very top floor so you had to go all the way up the stairs to get there and listen your homegirl is fluffy okay so i walked my ass up those stairs i walked up like three sets of stairs and there was still a line <laughs> for the merch and listen i was out of breath <laughs> i am not fit I am working on that, but I am not fit right now. This shell of me right now, not fit. I hit that like third or fourth set of stairs and I was like, we're not getting in this line because I am not going all the way back downstairs and all the way back up these stairs again. It's just not going to happen. So I'm just going to have to be sad about it. And that's what I was. I was just sad about it. And I took my ass to my seat <laughs> and figured out where I was going. That was still like three more sets of stairs. So you, you go up quite a few stairs to get to the balcony, like the last row. Um, um, but once I got there, so my seat being that last row of actual theater seating, um, I knew that it wasn't going to be comfortable like for my thighs and stuff. So pro tip or just insider info for all you other fluffy lovies out there. Um, the seats just aren't comfortable for us. Like, that's just what it is. It is what it is. Like, 
we are overweight or we are just we might have some extra padding here on your thigh area where however you might cover like carry your weight etc so it's just not comfortable all the time so what i did was i hung out in the back row with the actual chairs everybody's in the merch line so what i did is i just sat in the back it's like row s and t um in the normal chairs because it's comfortable and all I did was keep an eye out for the people who were actually in those seats so that I could move when they got there and tell them where to go. So many people were lost finding the seating and I just made it my goal to help people find their seats because I wasn't going to sit and merch or anything else. So like if people walked past me and they looked confused, I was like, oh your seats are here, here, and here. Like I helped them out. Um, I figured it was the least I could do. Eventually. The person that was, um, the people that were in the seat that I was sitting in came. I got up and moved. It's not my seat. I bought a different seat. Um, but it wasn't comfortable, so I wasn't going to sit there. And it didn't matter because I knew I wasn't going to sit anyway. I was going to stand the whole time regardless because I was excited and I wanted to have a good time and just chillax um, and dance and have fun. So I was there. And all I did is ask the people in that row if they minded if I stood there. And they didn't. It didn't matter. Because I wasn't going to take a seat anyway. So I just put my stuff next to theirs and just waited. So there's like a full blown like anticipation that you can feel in the crowd while everybody's waiting for Red Velvet to get going. You know, they've got their logo right there on the stage. Eventually smoke starts filling in more and more of the space. You know, you're looking around, looking at it's so ornate and so beautiful and just really well constructed and like it's it was the perfect like aesthetic for Red Velvet. Like just I I'll put some footage in, I'm sure. Um but it was beautiful and I was just happy to be there. I was just like, wow, this is so red velvet right now. <laughs> and, um, you know, eventually the lights go out and everybody starts screaming and we're all just jump to our feet and they come out and, um, from where I'm at, they, they are like ants. They are really small. Um, this experience, I won't be able to give you much detail kind of like you know like I did general admission for BTS and I could give you more of you know how they behaved on stage and this and that and their different kind of quirks and qualities I can't do that for you for this one because I just wasn't close enough I couldn't see every little thing in that same way what I can tell you is that they dance amazing they sound amazing they hit those notes like no other like it is legit red velvet is legit and they did a great job and it was a lot of fun and they are so cute when they're speaking English and just going through you know what they want to say and you know asking us if we're having a good time and we're screaming back and just the feeling of being there was so like hype everybody was really excited and we had our fan chants on point <laughs> we were like in sync with everything other people some people were doing like the actual choreo some people were just jamming in their seats everybody in like the front like the back rows that i was standing next to we were all dancing we were all into it um i will say that like s and t row once everybody stands up, they will block your view. So what a lot of people did was stand on their chairs for that very top last two rows because that's really the only way you're going to see by the time everybody stands up and they're also holding their fan lights and banners and stuff. Um, we had a really cute um, fan project banner that we held up at the end. And, you know, they clearly liked it. They talked about it at the end and, you know, Silgi held it up and everything and... So, you know, that was really sweet to see how all of it came together and we just had a good time together. I liked how the concert was broken into kind of like the red side and the velvet side. Um, so all of the like poppy, fun, hype songs were the start out and then we switched over into like the R&B, like bad boy really bad boy and stuff like that. They're just so precious. They're like just a little pack of angels and um, they were just being, they were just so excited. You could see it in their face when they were 
kind of speaking to us as a group. Things that I wish were different were like the stage setup and that has, that has nothing to do with Red Velvet. That's just kind of how everything is designed. And also venue to venue basis, it might be different. Um, so whatever the Chicago theater could put together um, for them, it is what it is. Like it was still looked great. I just wish because I knew that they had the capability so like behind them they've got like their graphics and everything and they also have a camera on them so that the camera can show like just like you know the fan cam view just like when you're watching the music shows and stuff um, when they're on there uh, it's only that one screen they didn't have additional screens or anything and that's just kind of the Chicago theater setup um, but some of the songs they had the camera on them and we could see a closer view of them dancing and singing and stuff and then some of them it was just like animated graphics in the background and what i wish was that it was just kind of both the entire time because nothing in particular about the animated backgrounds were anything that drove the song along in any way there was nothing storytelling like about them so I kind of just wish that the animated segments were like borders like they could still be there and be borders for like the camera um, work so that we could see them better just because there are so many of us at the top and legit like without that camera we have no idea what they look like like you can see with your eyes generally each member like I know who's who and what's going on and stuff um, but I can't see any details without that camera work, so it would have been nice for all of them to kind of have that camera going the whole time. But I still had a good time regardless. And, you know, they looked great. They were on point. They, their energy gave us energy and we were able to just give it back to them tenfold. You know, everybody around me was so excited. I'm pretty sure, okay, Sulgi is my bias, so at some point I know I screamed I love you, Sulgi. I don't know what it sounded like, though, because people around me <laughs> kind of looked. <laughs> so, who knows <laughs> what I sounded like, but I must have sounded a little crazy. And <laughs> it was just so fun. Like, I left super, like, giggly and smiley and, like, still singing the songs and stuff, um... So it was just an amazing concert. There, honestly, I only had a few things that I would change and it was awesome and fulfilling in every way. And I hope that every Rebel Love out there gets to go see them. They seemed to really enjoy Chicago. Joy sounded like, cause she didn't get to come last time. Joy, the way she talked about Chicago, she said that she wanted to come back like with her friends in general like it doesn't even have to be a red velvet event she just wanted to come back and that's so cool to hear and just to see them kind of enjoy the things that i'm used to is nice it's nice to have something in common or to see people experience things that you know you're already used to and um i hope they come back they should come back red velvet come back you know you know um I will be there <laughs> and um, I just I just love Red Velvet <laughs> there's not much more else to say um, I had a great time at the concert and I hope everybody else gets that experience whether it's Red Velvet or anyone else coming it's a heavy concert um, beginning of the year right now in a way that I never anticipated so stay out there have fun stream red velvet go interact with them on their social media watch the music videos have a good time be nice to each other and just keep doing what you're doing all right see ya